Good morning. I'd like to call this uh, meeting to order and ask the clerk to call the roll, please. Supervisor Zaragoza. Here. Supervisor Long. Here. Supervisor Huber. Here. Supervisor Parks. Here. Supervisor Bennett. Here. Um, and we have Patricia Lag, and on deck will be Stanley Zerkow. Good morning. I am so pleased to be here. My name is Patricia Lacey. I'm a registered nurse and have an MBA. This is my father, Stan Zirko, the handsome man over there to my left. He is under the conservatorship of the Ventura, Public, uh, the Ventura County Public Guardian. This is not and has never been a competency case, but only to protect, and vi protect against attorneys who have threatened his life, taken my money, violated his civil rights, and have caused various health issues, namely Carla Hartley, Patricia Lamas, who were terminated and reappointed, unfortunately, and Brian Clifton. We were talked into the conservatorship without proper understanding. The main issues that I'd like to dis discuss today about the public guardian is uh, Ms. Bocanegra, who seized my father's social security and pension and have only paid him $5.13 per day for living expenses from July of 18 to August of 19. Yes, $5.13 per day. There is an un unmanageable budget allowed, but they do not adhere to that. All supervisors for Ms. Bocanegra are also protecting her from harming my father, namely Diana Muller, Francine Balker, Elaine Martinez, and Martha Carrillo. Since they have clearly misappropriated his funds as shown in the documents provided to you, I am paying his expenses on my limited salary. I'm 68 and I cannot retire. She canceled his secondary health insurance for non-payment. He had one of the best insurance plans, which is not available any longer. She also did not file my father's 2018 tax returns. She denied medications from my father for five days. This health-related incident is well documented with this doctor. She told various mistruths in her declaration recently and signed under penalty of perjury. I send in my father's expense reports with re receipts. I have not received one penny. These are all of my invoices, not one penny. She ignores them. I send them to different supervisors, which again are ignored. The Knights of Columbus actually took up a collection at his last meeting so he could pay for his medications. There has been a severe lack of communication from anyone at the Public Guardian or at, at the County Council. We received, we finally received uh, food stamps so I can purchase food for my father, but because Ms. Bocanegra will not speak to the county workers from CalFresh, our application was denied. My mother and father's wife of 74 years recently passed away. She had Alzheimer's disease and we were not advised. We could not say our goodbyes, nor could my father hold her hand for the last time. The public guardian was aware. Her death certificate was falsified. She was cremated and her ashes sent to another state. My father has her health care directive and power of attorney. Money was missing from the accounts immediately upon her death. In conclusion, Mr. Zirko's health has deteriorated due to the party's mistreatment and disregard for his safety, health, and well-being. I take care of him for 24-7, and his health care worker stated he will deteriorate quickly once out of my care, which the public guardian is now doing. Any further harm or detriment to his health and status will be the sole responsibility of all the parties mentioned in my declaration, which was provided to you. Public guardian abuse is rampant across the nation, which is exactly what is happening in our case. I was wrongfully accused of absconding with funds recently. No shred of evidence because it never occurred. And I was deliberately not advised of the hearing to defend myself. My father's rights were given to a dangerous public guardian, all done with illicit intentions. The public guardian acts are spot on exactly to those of other unfortunate conservatives held in prison by the public guardian all over the country. Ma'am. Parties in question. Ma'am. Your, th your three minutes is I'm up. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. Um, we'll go to Stanley Sirkow. Thank you very much, Rosa, for that. Two years old. I am, I am from the Coast Guard for a veteran. I am the oldest Knights of Columbus. My career with, was, was making fonts for the American greeting, and I have done a few of them by hand. I live in fear, being in the hands of the public guard. And in my remember told me you would, Lorraine Bacchina was the one that told me. I remember her being so sick, it's, 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 it's me. And, and meeting me much. I felt like I have gone to die, and my daughter's daughter saved me my life. 
No one in, in our community one ever lets me know anything about my, they took my social security and my pension. I earned it and it is mine. They only uh, given me a tiny portion uh, to live on and it's very sarcastic. While if I finish finding automatic of my dead, or did they done me wrong? I, I uh, listen to everyone that you see in there, and they know they're giving me the old time skirt. They lie in court and say that I don't communicate with them. The letters were notarized and certified. Lorraine and her superiors know they. They know they, that my wife died and nobody cared. I found out later on that, that through, a, through a magazine appearance, the company that they informed me that they cremated her without me even knowing that she even died. That's terrible. How can something like this in this country happen? I am tired and sick. And I, and I don't like it because of all this stress and physical harm, some done by the loans and others. I have weekly visits with my doctor who I, who I depend on to, home, uh, to recover a bit. He said my state nurse would make it uh, almost periodic without harming me. The attorneys threatened me my life and said that if I don't, then they would say something about my daughter. They would throw, throw me in jail, take my money, throw out the key, and I'd die in, in the cell. I was afraid to tell my daughter because they said that it would harm her too if I did. Thank you. I Thank you, Mr. Zirkel. And she said that. Thank you, Mr. Zirk. She said it, it happened and reported to the authorities. Thank, thank you, sir. Your time is up. Guard aware. Your, your time of is up, sir. Death threat, but Lorraine, subject. Mr. Zirkel, your time is up. Thank you. Me to being in the same room with the same attorney who threatened my life. They barricaded the door behind me while I was in my wheelchair. This uh, is unjust. I have lived with my daughter for almost me? four years, and I can want Mr. to stay Zirkel with her. Me? The public guardian wants to remove me. My daughter is my only family, and now with the death of my life, I have nothing left. Okay, okay, sir. I want to live my life. With dignity. Please let me finish. I want to live my life with dignity and happiness. Please be my guardian angel and help me live my life in peace. He's done. He's over. Thank you for your testimony, Mrs. Zirkow. Thank you for your patience. No problem. My name is Julie Inglis, and I'm here on behalf of Patty Lacey and Stan Zirko. I appreciate your respectfully allowing me to speak today. I've read the court transcripts of the hearing 81619, was personally in the court 91019, witnessed and proceeding, was stunned by the behavior of the public guardian, public defender, Conservator, Counsel for the Public Guardian. Numerous misstatements have been made at, pertaining to Mr. Zirko's care and wants. I'm shocked and seriously dismayed by these. This was the first time Patty was allowed to say anything in all previous proceedings. The judge clearly was representing the VP, VCPG, Ventura County. And the statements he made were rude, one-sided, and Mr. Zirko and his desires at the age of 22, completely cognitive 
was ignored nor considered. I find this frightening and I hope you take my statement into consideration. Of course, on Patty's part, her emotions have been high, understandably. Mine would be too if anyone was trying to harm or move my parents. I have known Miss Lacey 40 years. We've become close in this time. She has always been honest, caring, a good human being with dignity, integrity, and above board. I've watched her work a full-time job, purchase a home, put herself through nursing school. She has become someone I deeply respect. Throughout the years, Patty shared her concern for her parents. We're trying to find a way to save safely bring them to California, which she was able to do. Through his daughter, I've had the pleasure and honor of meeting Mr. Zirko at 102 years old and a gentleman, a serviceman that has worked his entire life. One of the things I absolutely need to say is this, how we take care of our parents and elderly, I truly feel in all honesty and respect request that a thorough and complete investigation of all people involved in Mr. Zirko's case, excluding Patty Lacey, be performed. I can't imagine how we take care can't take care of Mr. Zirko's wishes. Thank, in thank you for your testimony. Your time is, is up, this Ms. English. the desired outcome we're looking for? And this is how we treat our elderly. Thank you very much for your testimony. I appreciate it. And thank you for listening. Right. Um, and I know Supervisor uh, Parks. Uh, Ms. Lacey has contacted our office, and I know one of the concerns was not getting checks. And as I understand, uh, the checks were reissued, and she received them, and we received a, a note from her indicating that. Um, I know also that she has worked with our human services agency, our public guardian office, our executive office, the Medi-Cal office, and the auditor controller's office to see that the funds are, are brought to her and the services that she needs, and that now our county council is working with her attorney, so that, that's kind of the status of it now. I, I don't know if the uh, county executive office has any more information to give on that. And of course, our, our main concern is with the um, care of your father, so that, that is the key. Thank you. Uh, just add to that that uh, HSA leadership is here, Marissa Mox in the back, and, and can mm -hmm. connect with the family here too to follow up. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for your testimony. Um, I appreciate your service, Mr. Zirkow, all right, uh, to this country in the Coast Guard during World War II and uh, all you've accomplished in your life. So thank you very much for being here today. Appreciate it. All right, we'll move on to board comments and Supervisor Zaragoza. No, thank you, um, and thank you for your testimony to today, too. 102 years old is a, quite a few years. Thank you for your service. 